Damn, you guys are good, man. I can't even do nothing around you guys. But you guys are like some freaking spies. In the last video, as you guys guessed, uh, yeah. I kind of did something that I low-key regret. Just a little bit. So, here it is. <laughs> I cut my freaking hair! Yep. Yeah. Alright, you guys, it's been about three years since I had, like, when I first started my dreads and everything. And the other day was the last day and I cut them off all my hair is gone there ain't no turning back now oh. there, hey just kidding I didn't cut my hair pranked you guys <laughs> summer started back up want to try something new I had the idea just out of the blue one day, I was like, man, I feel like cut my hair. I saw something on TikTok. I was like, damn, I wonder if I should cut my hair again. And then like the next day, I did it. No more dreads for YBD. So every time I shake my head, <laughs> my hair doesn't swing all over the place anymore. I miss doing that. <laughs> Stick my head out the window like a dog, like you. What? Just like you. Hey, what's good, you guys? How you guys doing today? Hope your day is going great. And if not watching this video, we'll make things 10 times better, baby. We are back at it again with another video. Hey, also, I can start wearing hats again. <laughs> See, before, I couldn't wear hats, you know what I'm saying? They wouldn't fit. People tried to tell me my head was too damn big. They was cap. <laughs> but nah, see, I can wear hats now, you feel me? Oh, shit! Oh, shit. Ah. Yes, Welcome back to another video. So now that leaves us the big question. What are we going to do with the KTM? And I read you guys' comments. I hear, I read all the comments that you guys comment upon the videos. I saw one specific comment and it got me thinking. Hmm. Instead of selling the KTM, why don't I do this? That one specific comment was like, yo, why don't you get a supermoto? Why don't you get a supermoto? Um, and I was like, hmm, why don't I get a supermoto? And then I got to thinking again. See, when I get to thinking, Damn, like crazy stuff happened, man. Like, so I got to thinking, and I was like, bro, I have a freaking bike just in here that I'm not gonna ride anymore. I mean, I'm gonna ride, but like, not on the track. I'm, I got a YZ125 now. Oh, that's another thing I left out. I don't wanna ride this on the track anymore. Let the truth be told, I bleed green. I feel more comfortable on a Cowie. I mean, it, it's just my preference. I think that's one of the best bikes that I can ride. Why don't we turn this KTM into a freaking supermoto? Ugh. Bro, what? 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 That's a genius idea, you guys. We can literally turn this thing into a street legal supermoto and make it badass. What do you guys think? I believe so. I think that is going to be the plan. Once I get this KTM put back together, we are going to be turning this KTM into a supermoto. It's going to take some work, you know, get it on that street legal side, but I think we can do it. And I want to take you guys along for the ride, so we're going to sleep on that, we're going to think things through, and we're going to make it happen. I wasn't really too sure what I wanted to do, and I really wasn't vibing with the KTM anymore, thinking it was the best bike out there, the best bike for me, the best bike I could, I could possibly buy. I mean, KTM's a great bike, don't get me wrong, but it was not the best bike for me. You feel me? Therefore, I came to the conclusion of getting rid of my KTM. I didn't want it anymore. I was gonna sell it. As you guys can tell, it obviously looks different. Like, there's literally no more graphics on here. I took the graphics off and cleaned the bike. Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen, she lit me the evening. She ripe like a peach and she snapped me the snippet. You well overdue for that link up in person. Text me to fall through a murder, she wrote it. Still up with courage, you're doing a service. Pull up to the crib, I'm equipped with the breast strokes. We have a bigger problem. I don't know how hard you have to look, but if you look really, really, really close right now, you can tell that something is missing on this bike. Just, you, you have to look like really, really hard. Can you see it? I mean, I can't see it either, but like, ah, you really just have to pay attention. I'm, I'm going to help you guys out. Um, if you just look in this area right here and up here, it's really back here. Something's missing. Uh, and that something is a freaking subframe. The KTM has been riding, like, you can ride the bike. <sighs> like, you be riding, you be chilling. You know what I'm saying? All that. And then... You feel off, like crooked, off, like, ugh. We're in the process of fixing the subframe on this bike. This bike has been sitting like this for the past couple days because it was damn near almost impossible to get this freaking subframe off. It was so many different bolts, so many things you had to go through just to get to it. Like, it was unnecessary. I got the parts on the other side just laid out. 
<laughs> I got them laid out as best I can uh, to try to remember, you know, where they go, this, that. This bike ain't getting put back together. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you guys, this bike ain't getting put back together, man. Uh, I mean it is, but it's gonna take some time. We got a new subframe in the mail. I'm gonna try my best to show you guys, um, you know, what's bent. This is the new one right here. This is the old one. Let's try and turn them the same way. Uh, we're just gonna look straight down on them, just like this. So you can tell on that. Let's see if we get a better angle right there. And now we're gonna look down on this one. Like barely bent, you guys, like just a tad. Like, I mean, you can really tell, like the rear end on this bike, was kind of off. It wasn't fat like my rear end. Let me just show you guys a little bit more of what we got going on over here. Whoa, shoot. See, this was like the most complicated part right here. Um, but I mean, you got the gas tank unscrewed. You guys don't want to hear about this. What the <laughs> That's your little update on the KTM. Uh, you know, the situation with this. We're going to finish off this video with a little bit of footage from the time that we were testing out the wheelie bar on the Grom. If you guys remember, we had a wheelie bar on the Grom with Low, And dude, his crazy neighbor came over. Crazy cow. And I know some of you guys have been asking for a part two, and I'm going to bring it to you right now. I'm going to give you guys a little bit of background information of what was going on. We was testing out this wheelie bar on the Grom in Lowe's neighborhood, and the thing is sick. We're going to have to bring it back for a few more videos. Videos, um, to showcase it to you guys but anyways his neighbor came over he was like yeah bro I can freaking Willie man you're not really doing it right you got to do this you got to do this you know just talking it up damn I just spit everywhere <laughs> basically he wasn't able to back it up and he was just going crazy y'all like crazy so I'm just gonna show that footage and Lo was getting pretty pissed off he was like bro that's my bike hop off right now before you break something so here's part two it's not even that bad like William? Yeah. <laughs> like, it's actually pretty smooth. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah. <laughs> Hit it. Oh. Touch. Yeah. <laughs> Can I see something real quick? Yeah, yeah. Bro, can I help you? Let me drop you about 10 pounds out that tire. Is, doing it, that. is it pretty? Oh, pretty really? pumped up. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Let's see what it's doing. Yeah. Well, how many CCs is that? One ten. One twenty five. Well, one twenty five. Oh, I like that. They, yeah. It's got a clutch. Yeah, it oh, does. Yeah. Does it have a foot brake? It's got everything. Wait. It's got a foot brake? A mini yeah. motorcycle. Yeah. It's a real motorcycle. Does this uh engage your brake somehow? No, not this one. It just saves it. Yeah. It didn't come so, with the bike. We got a separate. When you come up, you cover that brake. Ride yeah. that brake. Oh, you, you'll feel it. The brake, just stay on the gas. If it starts to go for too far over, just so pull in the clutch. It'll fall out. That well, clutch he, will save you. He know what he's doing. I'm the one trying <laughs> and, to learn. And, and let that air pressure down and just ride that brake, dude. Yeah. And you'll feel, you can get it. Because we'll the air slow. pressure makes it kind of flat, the tire. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what, you on a street bike or dirt uh, bike? Uh, 600. Okay. Yeah, F, uh, F4i. Okay. And then I got an R6, but that's like my daily driver. Yeah, I'm mainly on that's the That's looking good, man. Bikes. I like that. That's looking really good, man. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's a sick little setup. If I go grab my helmet, you going to let me try it yeah, one ahead. time? Yeah, go ahead. All right. I, I, I've always had bad luck with no helmet. <laughs> yeah, definitely put a helmet on. Yeah, that's my neighbor. He cool. So his wife was telling me he do stunts and yeah. stuff. I'm like, all right, tell him come through. <laughs> so we about to find out. Oh yeah, maybe we should move it. Take it off, damn it! Right, <laughs> Take it off. Maybe it's Twelve o'clock. It. Oh yeah, yeah, move it real quick. <laughs> Who put that on? I did. Did I mess it up? No, I just I'm I, I'm worried that about brake? when it hits. I guess it ain't pinching that brake. Nah, line. it's not pinching. I made sure because it wouldn't go under. It wouldn't okay. fit. I'm gonna I made drop sure this down. Um, if yeah, you want, ahead. before I leave, I'll air it back up. I got an air pump in my garage. All right, cool. If you want it aired back up, because yeah, we're riding on the streets, you you want to run full psi. Yeah. Well, I don't take but it on. for stunting, you want that sucker. I mean, especially when you're learning. Yeah. It's a game changer, man. We would um. It's the same one down, rest up. Wow, it's geared and everything, huh? Mm-hmm. That is cool, man. You ever heard of Hunter Groms? I've heard of Groms, yeah. Oh, yeah.
he ain't gonna get it up in no other gear but first. I <laughs> he gonna learn that soon. <laughs> I never rode one. It don't have a backpack? Yeah, yeah it does. It's, got, it's just got these. Put that out. Oh, yeah, that's what you're doing. Just the one side. I'm gonna feel it out, man. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna burn my clutch out. <laughs> he gonna think that was a street bike, for yeah. real. <laughs> Is he capping? I don't know. I'm about to find out. This ain't no ninja. It's not a ninja, that's why. <laughs> they good. It ain't no 600 E straight. Just pull it up. Come on, man. Nah, yo. Hey, hey, come on. <laughs> he don't know what he's doing, cuz. Nah, bro. He gonna be buying me a new bike. <laughs> I don't know. Hey. Nah, it. He thinking, uh, he thinking this... power wheelies. Yeah, yeah, nah. Hey, it ain't one of those bikes. Nah. He got his cell phone. Yeah, that's his wife. <laughs> hey, your wife said get off, bro. Cuz, what? Lying, bro. I don't know what's going on right now. <laughs> hey, it ain't one of them bikes, bro. <laughs> He's laughing, I'm serious. <laughs> he high as f right now. <laughs> <laughs> All right, bro. Bring it on in. Yeah, I know. You're doing good popping it up, man. I never Are hey, you revving it too much? Yeah, it won't fuck up. Nah, you know why? This ain't that 600. See, look, this is a little 125. It ain't going to clutch nah, up like that. Nah. What are you getting it, it up in second gear? Nah, first. You got to rev it and pop the clutch from like. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, going like one. I'm trying to pop it, but I'm used to, uh, yeah, you're right. If you rev it and pop it. I'll try one more. If I don't get it to come up, I'm going to let it go. But you rev it and then let the clutch just go. So like all the way to 6, 7? Yeah, about 6, 7. I'm trying to whack it, but. Uh, but don't whack it too much. Though. I'm trying to whack that clutch and run it up. <laughs> Turn his ass off. <laughs> I'm going to see I one more time. I got my 600 out here. Yeah, go get that. Nah. Yeah, tell him to go get the 600. Yeah, I'm about to tell him to bring 600. <laughs> I see that. Yeah. Hey! Hold up, hold up. Okay. You got. Hey, go get the 600. The wheel's off it. Go get the 600. The wheel is off it. Oh, it is? No, he. Nah, bro. It ain't gonna go up going that fast. You gotta stop. <laughs> Tell him to hop off, cuz. Hey! Yeah. Hold up, hold up! <laughs> hold on, cuz. Hey, bro, hold on. Yeah. It, you can't go fast. You can't go at all when you're trying to pop on this bike. Yeah. You gotta go like one mile per hour. I was trying oh. to come from a stop. Like, I just whack it and come up. Like, yeah, it ain't going on. Yeah, away. you got it, man. Try that. Like, when we're learning, man, we always stand like that. That way, when it comes up, <laughs> Yeah. It can come up like if you can, you know, if the bike starts doing this, that you're when you're doing a sit down and it comes up your body, you're going with it. You, know you got the, you got the ones you got a stunt bike with a den in the, in the no, tank. Yeah, all that. yeah, in my youth, man. I'm 45. <laughs> That's the dirt yeah. bike you have on me. You got a dirt bike? Uh huh. What you what? got? Uh, man, I got a uh, CR 100. I got a YZ 250. I got a my, uh, my daughter got a Honda uh, 50, a little 50. I see y'all later. Two white gold, keep the lace gold, change the beast inside in the hose and say. Look at me, we're in a Lambo truck with two Prada bags and a ball made phrase. Five in the game plus one, that's it, cause you know why V gotta get that.